Hey guys, in this video we'll be looking at the displacement of metals. This is specific to the displacement of metals from their salt solution. I'll be looking at the example of zinc and copper sulfate as well as copper and silver nitrate. So stay tuned. Before we even begin, there's one question we need to ask. What is a displacement reaction? Displacement is when we have one element that kicks out another element from a compound. So let's look at this example here. Let's say we have a salt solution containing metal ion X. That means it's a salt solution that has the metal ion X as the cation. So in the solution, we have ion X plus. What happens if we add a metal Y? So if we had a metal Y, then what happens is that metal Y will kick out metal X from the solution. Now, this is what we call displacement. Metal Y will displace metal X. Let's see what happens. So metal Y will form the ions, Y plus ions. Then it will displace X plus. And X plus will become the solid metal. So here from ions, it is in the ionic form in an aqueous solution. It's a salt solution. From the ionic form here, it has been displaced out. So it becomes the matter here, the solid form. So this is generally what displacement of metals mean. Now, there is one condition for this to happen. That is, the metal that we add, the metal that we are going to add to displace the other metal, has to have a higher electropositivity. So here, metal Y has to be more electropositive than X in order for it to displace X. I know it's a bit confusing here. Let's get into what electropositivity is. Electropositivity simply means the ability to donate an electron. So here, we have to look at the electrochemical series because the electrochemical series is an arrangement of the metals in order of their electropositivity. Those that are higher up are more electropositive. If you want to learn more about electropositivity and the electrochemical series, please click on the link above. So in this video, I'm not going to go into that in detail. Let's look at this example of metal Y and X again. So once again, if metal Y is more electropositive than metal X, that would also mean that metal Y is more reactive than metal X then metal Y has the ability to displace X from the salt solution. It's from the ionic form, it will be displaced out to the solid form and metal Y will form the ions. However, if metal X is more electropositive, then no displacement will occur. So even though we add Y, if X is more electropositive, then X will remain in the solution it will remain as part of the salt solution in its compound form. It will not be displaced out to become a solid metal. So the key here whether displacement reaction takes place or not is to compare the electropositivity between the two metals involved. Let's study an example of a reaction between zinc and copper 2 sulfate. So this is the electrochemical series. I encourage you to go and look at the video of, of electrochemical series and let's look at the position of zinc and copper because we are going to study the reaction between zinc and copper 2 sulfate. So zinc is right up here, copper is at the bottom here. Zinc is higher than copper, therefore zinc will be able to displace copper from its salt solution. So here we have a salt solution of copper 2 sulfate, copper 2 sulfate solution and the color of copper 2 sulfate solution will be blue because of the copper 2 ion. So it is blue color solution. Then when we add zinc into this copper sulfate solution, a displacement reaction will take place. So zinc will displace copper from copper 2 sulfate solution which means the copper 2 ions here will be displaced out to form solid copper, copper metal. 
and this copper metal is going to be deposited around the zinc metal so there will be a brown deposit around the zinc metal because copper metal is brown in color zinc will form zinc 2 plus ions now a solution of zinc sulfate will be left zinc sulfate of course has no color it's colorless so the observation here will be that the blue color solution turns colorless because the copper ions have been displaced to form brown deposit of copper metal around the zinc metal that we just placed into the solution now this is a redox reaction zinc will become zinc 2 plus ion by donating two electrons so when we donate electrons when it loses electrons it is oxidized and copper will gain the electrons to become copper solid so copper here since it is gaining electrons it is reduced so when it is reduced it is the oxidizing agent and when zinc is oxidized zinc is the reducing agent here we have to think about the electropositivity again zinc has a higher tendency to donate electrons compared to sulfur that is why between the two zinc is the one that will donate the electrons and these electrons will be transferred to the copper 2 plus ions and copper will be displaced out as copper metal now, this is the full equation of the whole reaction copper 2 sulfate plus zinc solid we get copper solid and zinc sulfate now let's take a look at the reaction between copper and silver nitrate so once again this is a reaction between copper and silver nitrate and so we need to identify the position of copper and silver in the electrochemical series so copper is here and silver is here copper is above silver in the electrochemical series which means that copper is more electropositive or more reactive than silver and this would mean that copper is indeed able to displace silver out of silver nitrate solution so when we add copper silver nitrate solution is a colorless solution and copper is a brown metal it's a brown solid so when we add copper to silver nitrate solution copper will displace the silver out as silver solid now, silver solid of course is a shiny gray color so what happens is the solid the brown solid will have a shiny gray deposit around it and then we also must remember that copper has become copper ions so when copper becomes copper 2 ions here copper 2 ions are blue color so the solution will become blue so the observation that we will see here is that the colorless solution turns blue because of the copper 2 ions these are the half equations so copper solid copper is more electropositive so it has a higher tendency to donate electrons and that is why copper will donate the two electrons to become copper 2 plus ion and silver will gain the electrons that was lost by the copper so silver will gain electrons and be displaced as silver solid so that is why we observe a shiny gray deposit around the copper can you guess what will happen if we put silver inside a solution of copper 2 nitrate if you know the answer, comment below. And that's all for today, guys. If you've learned something, please like the video. And if you haven't subscribed yet, don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video.